good morning <laughs> i just want to say good morning it is already afternoon until i start actually doing something here it's afternoon there's so much stuff to do i was starting to comment this morning i said no you haven't got time today to comment anything get your ass back on the roof and do some work so here we are well in today's episode i want to replace this string here with the same sort of panels like these ones you may remember from one of the last videos we have tested the other three panels of the bld 250 watt panels here down in the driveway in the full sun and they were top they almost gave us 100 percent of power in the autumn sun here with a not optimal angle and not super clear sky and as i said i have to take these panels here down anyway for testing i have to replace these rails here because they are now too short for these wider panels here i've got one rail already sitting there um the problem is i don't have any feet anymore at the moment okay let me talk you through the situation here at the moment we have to take off this panel here because i need these feet they are four feet underneath which i need for these two strings to replace them well i've got no need for it at the moment because i'm running a 3s configuration with all my panels so this is a bit of a leftover panel at the moment but i'm sure we will get others in the future and then we can put this and then we can put this into duty again and i'm not going to put up this panel anymore i'll leave this down in the garage somewhere until we find matching panels and then we can put more strings here on the garage the other two test panels there they are only 40 watts each I will probably put them, I don't know yet. I'll leave them there for a moment. I'll just take this one off because I need the feed from it. Um, I need to find another space for these panels here for my test environment as well. I need these solar panels down there because I'm doing battery charging, testing and stuff like this and testing charge controllers. It's always good to have some uh, solar panels on the roof where you can put them in parallel or put them in, in series depending what you're going to test. So I would really like to keep these panels somewhere on the roof, maybe over there or maybe here at the end or maybe at the front of our roof here. I'm not sure yet. I, I really don't know yet. I need to figure this out as we go. Don't forget your head. Just want to see how often I have to get up and down the ladder because I've forgotten some tools or need different ones. Okay, this is number four already. So yeah, that's just a 10 meter rope here, two metal hooks on each of the side and I can flip them in here to these holes here in the profile of the panel. Very secure solution and then I just let them down. my um, my clamp my gorilla clamp just broke see the little plastic clip here it just broke off the mount damn it that's my most used tool for making videos super glue for the win and here we have the tested BLD panels, the three, we tested in the driveway, better life we do. I better hope so BLD, I better hope so, I'm gonna take you down again soon. I strapped them here to the metal posts of the carport, so they are not falling down onto the car. I would just cry. <laughs> So the plan is now to slide this solar panel up these rails here and at the end I can just hook it in here to the end of the rails and rest it 
and then I can grab it under the frame and lift it all the way up. That should work. It works! Easy! That was very easy! Nice work, Andy! <laughs> I need a beer! Okay, I have now mounted these three panels. Everything is tightened. I have already connected the cables down there. This little hallway is a bit tight here. <laughs> this one is amazing. Well, I managed to connect everything. And let's have a look down in the ceiling if we have voltage and some amps flowing. Even we have shading. There should be something happening. Okay, we are now looking at the west roof here and the solar charge controller. I have disconnected everything. So now we need to connect to string number two, the one with the two pluses. And we connect right now. We've got 96 volt. Let's see if some amps flowing. I'm not expecting much. There's full shading on the roof at the moment. Maybe just half an amp, I would expect. At least it's correctly connect connected. Zero three only. Oh, it's still tracking. <laughs> we are getting 21 watts from the new string. And that was worth the effort. Absolutely. <laughs> I just, um, just connect the second one as well and see. Yeah, this one does 20 watts as well. Half an amp. Okay, I connect the third one as well, which is still the string with a higher voltage. 50 watts. I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm super impressed. Hey, what a performance gain. <laughs> well, you know what? They can mean only one thing. It's a good thumbnail. <laughs> Guys, thanks for all your support and all the beer donations. Much appreciated. You should come over here and sit with me on the roof here and we crack a can. It's amazing. <laughs>